So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sheetal Sumaya. I'm the senior nutritionist at Superfoods Valley, and uh, we have specialized and we have created this first nutrition mix in India, which has no taste, color, or smell. So what have we? Why did we create this? Like we've shared earlier, hidden hunger is due to micronutrient deficiencies, and we all know that. We are almost able to get our macronutrients, but however, micronutrients is something that not only we, but even our patients do struggle with. What does it say? The global hidden hunger crisis is 2 billion people worldwide suffer from hidden hunger, and most of them are prominently in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Like Nilanjana Ma'am has already shared, the impact is immediately within the first thousand days. And if it's not taken care of, we get into a vicious cycle all through adolescence, then adulthood, pregnancy, the elderly, and then again reversing from pregnancy back to the child for the first thousand days. And then on, therefore, it just continues. It leads to stunting, low birth weight, high mortality, reduced learning capacity, reduced productivity in adults, malnutrition in adults and children, and increased risk of chronic diseases in adults, as well as increased risk of morbidity in the elderly. What can we do to prevent this? So let's see what is the condition in India. In India, we have the menace of anemia that is present widely amongst children, pregnant, non-pregnant women. It's not only amongst women, it's also amongst men, like we see here. It has increased from 59 to 67.5% in children. It has increased from 53 to 57% in women. It has increased from 3 to 25% in men just within the last four years. What does it show? Is it only iron? No. We are also showing deficiencies in zinc, folate, B12, vitamin A, vitamin D. And it is only increasing as we see here. What are the six micronutrient deficiencies that are most prevalent? It's vitamin A, B12, vitamin D, iron, iodine, folic acid, and definitely protein. What does it show? The CNN data shows that it is increasing and more prevalent amongst the more affordable demographic, that is abundance, but still there is deficiencies. And it is not only there for one, it's also seen amongst iron, folate, E12, vitamin D, and zinc, right from increasing, right from 15 to 27% for iron, 28 to 43% in folate, 28 to 31% in B12, and 90 to 33%. So even though there is ample amount of food, however, the nutrient density of food is what tends to suffer. And what could be the causes? It's primarily because our diets are mostly based on staple crops, not eating enough fruits and vegetables, faulty eating habits, high food prices, therefore, you know, not choosing the correct and the appropriate amount of food, and definitely that leading to a poor gut health and a poor gut microbiome, which leads to impaired absorption of even the food that we are eating, which may be healthy. What's the solution? Definitely biofortification, diet diversity, as Nilanjana ma'am said, eating as per the season, supplementation food fortification, improvement in hygiene and sanitation. So what did we do? At SFV, with our expert scientific council, we have developed the Good Monk Nutrition Mix. We have a scientific council, that is Dr. P. Swami, Dr. Shashikaran, Mrs. Malika Janikaraman, Dr. Shovan Ganguly, and our very own Sheila Ma'am, Sheila Swami Ma'am. So what does Good Monk do? How is it different? And how does it help you make food, nutrition, supplementation a part of food? There are four different options available to us and our patients today. We have multivitamins, tablets and syrups. Then we also have milk drinks, which again, we are more concerned because of the high sugar. Then we have the newer versions of gummies, the dissolvable and the effervescent tablets, which again, there needs to be more research for that. And then we have the good old way of smuggling nutrition into food. That is, adding it to food like how often our parents have done earlier. So what is Good Monk? Good Monk is a nutrition mix that does not add taste, color or odor to the food when eaten. It does not have any added white sugar, any added salt, any added fat 
or preservatives. It's only 4 to 5 kilocal per sachet that comes from cores. Let's look at the composition. So we have lysine, we have phos, we have fiber, we have uh, prebiotics, we have probiotics, we have our key vitamins and minerals, we have KSM 66, Ashwagandha and Brahmi. One sachet contains about 30% RDA and two sachets will give about 40 to 60% RDA. Lysine, why have we chosen lysine, the protein building block and not adding protein? Because we are a carbohydrate based nation. Therefore, for mutual supplementation, the one amino acid that we miss is lysine. For probiotics, we have 1.6 billion and we have two herbs, ashwagandha and brahmi. The lysine has shown that lysine supplementation in pre pubertal girls in India has shown an improvement in growth as well as muscle function. And lysine, when fortified with wheat flour, has shown the immunological status of wheat eating families in northern India improve. Abundantly. The probiotic of choice for us has been Bacillus coagulum. The reason being, it is spore forming, it is heat stable, it survives the hot temperature of food, it survives the acidic pH of the stomach. This is a clinically proven ingredient and it has known to give great results. Along with that, we have given FOS. How does FOS help? Like Ma'am has already explained, it has selective fermentation directly in the intestine. It increases the production of short-chain fatty acid. It stimulates the beneficial bacterial growth of uh, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. It modulates gut microbiota composition. Therefore, it results in an enhanced intestinal barrier function and improves gut immunity. The symbiotic effect of bacillus coagulans and FOS, it leads to an improved composition of microbiomes, microbes within the gut, and therefore, it has benefits such as increased mineral absorption, stronger immune system, reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes, increasing the resilience to stress, improved sleep, better mood, improved digestion, and therefore improved hormonal balance. These are the salts that we have added in our good monk sachet. For vitamin A, we have retinyl acetate, pyridoxin hydrochloride, cyanocobalamin, ascorbic acid for vitamin C, ergocalciferol for vitamin D, ferric sodium EDTA for iron and zinc sulfate. Why is iron uh, supplementation so important? What are the challenges that we face? We have challenges of constipation with the iron tablets that a lot of women face and therefore there is poor compliance. With Goodmark, there's improved compliance as it's easy to mix with food, it becomes a part of food. The combination of prebiotics and probiotics improves constipation. It also improves energy levels by improving the absorption of iron. Both ferric sodium EDTA and zinc sulfate are highly bioavailable salts. The herbs that we have are ashwagandha and brahmi. These are clinically proven uh, ashwagandha that we have is PSM 6. It has 24 gold standard clinically published papers. Ashwagandha is also known as an adaptogen, very much needed in today's day and time. Therefore, it improves in response to stress and anxiety. It results in improved sleep. Brahmi, along with vitamin B6 and B9 in good monk, it reduces fatigue, improves energy levels and leads to much better sleep. Therefore, every sachet of good monk contains 130 crore good bacteria, amount in one serving of probiotic curd, about one third cup of chopped pineapple, the fiber present in that, Lysine present in 3 4 cup of ragi, vitamin A present in 1 and half cup of cheese, vitamin B9 present in 3 4 cup of bitter gourd, vitamin B6, D and iron present in 3 and half cups of fenugreek leaves, vitamin B12 present in half a cup of milk, vitamin C present in 1 and half cup of spinach, zinc in half cup of chopped walnuts, ashwagandha and brahmi within RDA limits. Well, after this, we also are coming up very soon within the next two days with our Healthy 50 Plus, which is for adults 50 years and above, more as a preventive sachet. This has even more. It has 15 essential vitamins and minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, lysine, ashwagandha and brahmi. This is also recommended as two sachets a day. It has uh, vitamin B6, iron, vitamin A, B12, vitamin K, 
vitamin E, selenium, and biotin. Uh, these are the ones that are not there in uh, the good mouth. And now I would like to share some videos from our uh, Gujarat IDA LEC members who've tried the product and will be sharing their experience with us. Hi. I'm Shruti Patel, consulting dietitian and nutritionist, having experience of 17 plus years in the field of dietetics. During my day-to-day -day practice, many clients came complaining of fatigue, lethargy, and always not being in the mood of doing anything. This is a very common problem with kids, elderly people, or women above 40 years. Even though we provide a personalized diet plan to meet all nutrients for a day, but sometimes in some clients where we are not sure about their cooking practices, their absorption level of nutrients, we need to provide them some supplements to meet up the requirements. And it's always a challenging task to convince a client to take any products. But with Good Monk, which is actually I tried on my family, clients started liking it too, because it doesn't add any taste, order or color to their original food goodness. It has 13 nutrient hubs, which help in reducing stress levels and giving a boost to immune system, making it ideal for elderly. It also improves mental sharpness and enhances memory in kids. And now, in my 40s, I too need such a boosting nutrient rich sausage twice a day in my diet. So, khane mein mix kare, family ka nutrition fix kare. Switch to good monk. Hi, I'm Shruti. Uh, so, this is one of the so this wonderful product I came across is by Good Monk. It's a nutrition mix and if, you, if you're also looking for a product which is a power pack of nutrients, please do try this product. It has 30 sachets and the best part of this product is that it does not have its own flavor. So you can always try it in all the foods which you eat regularly, whether it's your curd, milk, dal, sambar, rice, any meal and it won't make much difference. Similarly, I also thought of trying one, so I picked up one sachet. And so, and it tastes no difference. You will hardly find any difference in the taste, in the flavor of the product. So that's why I was thinking to tell people that this is one thing I really love, and I would recommend if you're looking for some supplement to meet your daily things, to give you some energy power pack with your brains. So do try this micronutrient rich food and it comes with a micronutrient ready retinol. So you can go through this. It's a wonderful product. Thank you so much.